What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So, as you guys can tell by the title, Artem Delakian versus Luis Concepcion. It's official. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this fight has uh, been official for quite some time now, so I apologize for the late upload. But as the saying goes, it's better late than never. So anyway, fight will be taking place on the 20th of November, November 20, 2021. So it is coming up soon. The fight will be taking place over in the home country of Delakian in Kiev, Ukraine. WBA flyweight title on the line, which Delakian will be defending in this fight, if you guys don't know. Artem Delakian is the WBA champion at 112 pounds and Luis Concepcion is the number one contender for the title. I'm not sure if the WBA ordered this fight but still with that being said at least Delakian is fighting the number one contender in Luis Concepcion so it's not a bad fight in my opinion. Luis Concepcion to those who don't know who he is, he's a fighter from Panama, 39 and 8, 28 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. He uh, won the interim WBA title in his last fight back in February of 2020 against Robert Barrera. He won the fight by TKO in round number 11. You've probably seen him in there against the likes of Andrew Maloney, uh, Kalia Fai, Kohei Kono, um, Hernan Marquez, Carlos Cuadras. Uh, who else are big names that he's fought? Marquez again, he's fought Marquez multiple times. Um, but yeah, he's, he's been in there. He's, you know, he's the veteran in the sport. And uh, here he is fighting for a world title against Artem Delakian. Fighter from Ukraine, 20 and 0. 14 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Uh, won the world title back in 2018. No, 28, yeah, 2018 against Brian Villoria. Um, actually, he was the one that retired Viloria. Let me double check real quick. Viloria, yep, he was the one that retired Viloria. Since then, he's defended the title one, two, three, four, four times. Last time he defended the title was against Josberry Perez, where he won by unanimous decision over in Kiev as well. And now here he is uh, fighting in Kiev as, um, and defending his title. Um uh, Looks like he's doing pretty well in Kiev. I, I'm assuming he's making, doing good numbers and making good money in Kiev for him to be keep fighting in Kiev. Um, you know, I'd expect him to try to fight elsewhere where there's to follow, you know follow the money. But I guess he's uh, making a decent amount over in in Ukraine. Um, yeah, it would be nice to see him. You know, fight other fighters, other champions like Julio Cesar Martinez, Sunny Edwards, and Junto Nakatani. But hopefully in the future he does that. Um, you know, venture out outside of Ukraine and try to unify and then fight in Ukraine again. Um, but it seems like he's been fighting at least top fighters under the WBA. At least I assume they are top fighters. I think Gregory LeBron was a different that you know was a decent fight. I remember that. Um, I think I missed out on this fight against Sarawat Tamrokwam. And the Josper Perez, I think I remember just reading about it. So anyway, here he is fighting Luis Concepcion. Um, looking forward to it. I'll, I'll make my prediction video as we get closer to the fight. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.